Hello dear students welcome back again to Chinmoy's YouTube channel so today i am here back with a new episode of respiration so in the previous episode i have already discussed about the gaseous exchange in lungs and tissues so i think uh, you have gone through that lesson so let us start with today's lesson so what are today's learning objectives so at the end of today's lesson we will know that what is the reason behind the increase in breathing rate so what is hypoxia what is asphyxiation and what is emphysema so these are the very important terms we should know and what is the reason behind the increased breathing rate so uh, dear students you need to subscribe to my channel if you want to get my daily updates notification uh, and stay tuned stay updated with whatever lessons i am teaching and i am teaching in a systematic way as per your icsc curriculum and please do share it with your friends because my uh, lessons are absolutely free of course so no uh, uh, nothing you need to pay so please do share with your friends and if you are having any queries any doubts and if you want to uh, me to modify my lessons in any other way tell me in the comment box so please do subscribe to my channel and let us get started with today's episode so when does a person's breathing rate increase so there are several factors when the breathing rate increases so normally the breathing rate is 15 to 18 times per minute and it's about 500 ml of air which is breathed in and out now in 24 hours we breathe 15000 liters of air is it clear so uh, in uh, in 15 to 18 minutes of time we can say that 500 ml of air is breathed in and breathed out now the depth and the frequency of breathing increases in certain circumstances so what are those circumstances now during and immediately after exercise the rate of breathing increases when a lot of oxygen is used up by the muscles so from 15 to 18 per minute it is increases to 20 to 25 uh, times breathing per minute because as we are um, exercising the lot of oxygen is used up by the muscles and the muscles need more oxygen so for the, that reason the rate of normal breathing increases now again uh, 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 the second causes at high altitudes when the concentration of oxygen is low in atmosphere and the air we breathe in decreases in the pressure so thus the person may feel air sickness unsteady vision loss of hearing lack of muscular coordination at high altitudes because in that stage the oxygen uh, the oxygen present in the air is uh, low and the uh, the thing we are breathing in so the oxygen pressure in our body also decreases so there is a low oxygen count in our body and we keep on breathing Uh, uh increase our breathing rate so that we can uh, get more oxygen in our body and when the circulation is not delivering oxygen to the tissues efficiently for example uh in coronary heart disease also when the uh, oxygen or the blood circulation is not proper it is not delivering oxygen to the heart properly so that is during any coronary heart disease Uh, and these are also uh, the breathing rate also increases at high altitudes after immediately after exercise or during the, any coronary heart disease is it clear now let us see what is there in the next slide now now uh, we are here with the term hypoxia so it is a new term you do not know this term so we should know what is hypoxia and what are the causes of hypoxia so hypoxia as the term suggests uh, it is a condition in which the body or a region of a body is deprived of adequate oxygen supply at a tissue level so adequate supply of oxygen is not there now hypoxia may be classified or it may be generalized so when it is affecting the whole body or it is affecting a local part or affecting a region of a body now uh, might be some portions of the body oxygen is not reaching like uh, the hands might be not uh, having proper oxygen supply or the heart is not having pro proper oxygen supply so there are many more, uh, many causes of this um, hypoxia and uh, there are pathological causes also and there are certain causes like moving on to higher altitude moving in crowded places now we can see that there is a deficiency in oxygen we have told so although hypoxia is often a pathological condition that is it is a clinical condition but variation in arterial oxygen concentration can be a part of normal physiology also how how during strenuous physical exercise also 
less oxygen is supplied to the tissues now there is obviously a deficiency uh, of oxygen reaching the tissues uh, which is uh, uh, which can happen if you are in crowded places or in a room with poor ventilation and in higher altitudes when the oxygen concentration is lower in uh, the air present in high altitude so there are many causes of hypoxia uh, due to some uh, medical or clinical ca causes also pathological reasons also are due to crowded places where there is less oxygen there due to room ventilation improper room ventilation and in higher altitude so hypoxia is uh there is less supply of oxygen to the body or any part of the body or in the tissue level so see in uh, higher altitudes if a person is having asthma or any other conditions or in case of pulmonary fibrosis okay now what are the symptoms shortness of breath tachycardia unconsciousness a person may fall unconscious also and uh, the hands at times if there is it is not uh, having a proper supply of uh, oxygen it may turn blue so this is all hypoxia so next what is there now what is asphyxiation so let us uh, just discuss about this so asphyxia or asphyxiation is a condition of deficient supply of oxygen so in hypoxia also it was deficient supply of oxygen to the body but this deficient supply of oxygen arises from abnormal breathing there it was due to less oxygen in the atmosphere the oxygen in the body it was reaching less but here it's due to abnormal breathing now asphyxia it is caused it is causing generalized hypoxia so which affects primarily all the tissues and organs of the body so it is a generalized hypoxia now there are many circumstances that can induce asphyxia so what are the circumstances all of which are characterized by the inability of a person to acquire sufficient oxygen through breathing and for an extended period of time so this is insufficient supply of oxygen through breathing for an extended period of time now asphyxia can cause coma or even death now uh, this we can say that uh, this is a condition where is deficient supply of oxygen is happening from the abnormal breathing now it may cause due to strangulation if someone is uh, strangulating the throat or drowning or blocking in the respiratory system etc so this condition actually can lead to the death and uh, or can uh, make the person uh, shift to coma also okay because the oxygen is not at all reaching to the brain also so this can lead to coma or uh, death also so let us move on to the next one now next condition is emphysema so what is this emphysema so emphysema you can see the diagrams here it is a lung condition so uh, that causes the shortness of breath and in people with emphysema the air sac or the lungs alveoli they are damaged so in normal the um, the alveoli are like this but in person with emphysema you can see the alveoli is damaged so these parts of the person having emphysema these parts of this alveoli are damaged now over the time the inner walls of the air sac weakens and they rupture also so alveoli is rupturing creating larger air spaces instead of many small ones now this reduces the surface area of the lungs and in turn the amount of oxygen that reaches your blood stream is also less so as the surface area of each alveoli was much larger due to the rupture of each alveoli the surface area of the alveoli is uh, it's uh, reducing and the amount of oxygen that reaches your blood stream is also less now when you exhale the damaged alveoli they don't work properly and so the old air becomes trapped inside your lungs only leaving no room for fresh air so as the exhaled air you are not able to exhale the full air out of your lungs then there is no room for fresh air inside the lung because oxygen rich air cannot enter your lung because it's already filled with carbon dioxide um carbon dioxide rich air so because the exhalation is not happening properly you are not able to vacate your lungs properly by exhalation so old air is already remaining inside your lungs and you are leaving no room for fresh oxygen uh, rich air to enter so this is what is happening and most people with emphysema also have chronic bronchitis now this chronic bronchitis is inflammation of the tubes that carry oxygen to your lungs that is the bronchial tubes which leads to a persistent cough so uh, this uh, causes the chronic bronchitis and it is inflammation of the tubes that they are carrying oxygen to your lungs so this is what is happening uh, and it is leading to a persistent cough 
Now emphysema and chronic bronchitis, there are two conditions that make up chronic obstructive pulmonary uh, disease that is COPD. This is a very common disease COPD and emphysema and chronic bronchitis these two combine to form COPD. Now smoking is leading to COPD and treatment may uh, slow the progression of COPD and but it ca can't reserve, reverse the damage. So treatment is um, uh, it can slow the progression it can slow the rupture or the destruction of the alveoli but it can't uh, reverse the damage so whatever damage has been already done to your lungs that is all the, already the alveoli which are being ruptured or damaged they can't be reversed or it can't be uh, again be restored but it can the progression may be stopped by certain um, treatment so smoking can also cause to copd and there there are several other diseases which can lead to this chronic bronchitis emphysema and chronic bronchitis so the the thing is that uh, the alveoli that is weakening there is happening a rupture and the amount of, uh, of carbon dioxide rich blood which was to be exhaled is not being able to exhale so the lungs are filled with carbon dioxide rich blood so the pure or the fresh air or the oxygen um, laden air is un being unable to come in so it leads to chronic bronchitis or cough so this is what the three types of uh, complications which arises hypoxia asphyxiation and emphysema we studied today so in the next episode we will be studying about the lung capacity so for that you for the updates you need to subscribe to my channel and please do write in the comment box what are your doubts what are your queries and don't forget to share it with your friends also and if you if the students are not in 8th if you know students of 9th and 10th 8th 9th 10th you can share all the uh, all the links to them also because i am teaching both 8th and uh, you all are in 9th and 10th also so for today our lesson is over so uh, for the next lesson i'll be bringing you lung capacities thank you